women have free choice to go into sex work? It's a hard question to ask without thinking of all of the work that we do. That's how I understand it. Um, it feels like we put such a double standard on sex workers to prove to themselves that they've made an empowered choice in a way that we don't ask that question about people in other kinds of service work that can also be quite exploitative. Um, you know, as my friend, the labor journalist Sarah, uh, Sarah Jaffe says, no one ever tried to rescue me from the restaurant industry when I was a waitress. And I feel like we, that's just... It's an interesting question, it's an important question, but it is a question that I think puts such a burden on sex workers to prove themselves, to prove that they are empowered, um, when I think the more basic question might be, well, what kinds of power and control do you have at work? What does it look like when you need to take a day off? Are you going to be penalized for that? Do you, can you choose the kinds of customers that you want to see? Can you choose the kinds of safer sex that you want to have? Those are much more fine-grained questions, and I think they speak much more to the reality of sex work than sort of these big picture ideas about empowerment and choice. 